Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our local 99 cent only store. Now, I know a lot of you don't have 99 cent only stores. They're only available in four states. But why is this important? Because here's what happened to my 99 cent only store. And could this be happening to our Dollar Tree? And I'll show you some signs. Uh, there are signs up on the wall that says 99 cent only, and that's what their name was like less than two years ago. But because of whatever, as you can clearly see, not a lot is 99 cent only. They got rid of a huge amount of the bargains. And yes, of course, some of them were smaller sizes. See, there it says 99 cent only. We're going to zoom in right there. That was the name of the stores. So yes, they do have a lot of selection of 99 cents, maybe about 20%, but even cards are $1.99. And to tell you the truth, the cards are no better than over at the Dollar Tree. Now, how much are those spectacles? $1.49. Still a little cheaper over at the dollar and a quarter tree. Even the candles. Okay, it's only four cents, but hey, four cents is four cents. So let's talk about the 99 cent only store. And uh, go ahead and look at all the stuff. So the reason why I thought there was a uh, 99 cent stores everywhere because they're only in four states and these are the four states that I travel to mostly so I just assume they were in all 50 states but there are 370 stores in California, Arizona, Nevada, and Texas. They were founded in 1982 and it grew rapidly. Now for comparison let's look at Dollar Tree. 99 cent only has 370 stores in the U.S. and Dollar Tree has 8,202 stores in the U.S. That's pretty amazing, but numbers get even bigger for our other competitors. So Dollar Tree has 8,200 stores in the U.S. Worldwide, did you know it has 16,000 stores? That's right. Why? Because we love to save a buck. Now, as I'm doing this video, these are the statistics that I got. So let's look at Family Dollar. Family Dollar is close to the Dollar Tree with 8,000 stores in the U.S. That's uh, pretty amazing. So you can shop Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, yay. But who's the biggie? Who's the big one? Well, that would be Dollar General. Dollar General is huge, and I believe it's throughout 48 states. So, how many Dollar Generals are there in the United States? 18,912. That's amazing, amazing amount of stores. And then, let's see, what is it worldwide? Uh, worldwide, Dollar General has... 19,643 locations. So I guess what I'm saying is the majority of them are in the United States. Now, I hope you're getting the idea. Uh, yeah, 99 cent only is sort of like Dollar Tree. They have food. They don't have really a good craft supply selection, but they sell liquor and we'll get to that department in a little bit later. All right, the snack pack is $1.49, the Jell-O $1.49, it's a dollar and a quarter over at uh, Dollar Tree. And I think it's funny because a lot of their stuff, oh, wait, we're getting to my chips. I actually bought a thing of a, did I buy the Cheetos? I just bought one right there. Oh, the Lay's Buffalo Ranch. I am upset because like I said, last year it was 99 cents and then overnight it went up to $2. Also, what you're seeing is a lot of Hispanic foods in here, and that's good. Oh, and another difference is, is the 99 cent only will have fresh produce to where the Dollar Tree won't. Like I said, I get these for a dollar and a quarter over at the Dollar Tree, and these are $2.49. They're actually cheaper at my Walmart. I think it's about $2.12 there. So you really got to watch your prices, but then all of a sudden you'll find a bargain. 
To be sure, one of the stores I really enjoy uh, shopping at for cheap groceries is it's called Discount Outlet. Uh, grocery outlet. So uh, that's really fun. I wonder, I'm going to look up and see how many they have in the United States, but I know they're not all throughout the country. It's mostly a California store. So the price of chili was pretty good, wasn't it? Like I said, you got to know your prices. Oh, and then immediately after they went from the 99 cent only store to uh, we're going to put any price on anything that we want, things were not priced. So this is so much better that they're actually putting prices on things or near things because you might have picked up like the cherry tomatoes two years ago. It was a uh, 99 cent only, went to the register and they're ringing you up 2 dollars and I would tell them that's not right. They had an amazing selection of Easter uh, products, about two solid aisles of just good stuff. All right, five pounds of apples, three ninety nine, good price. Uh, the you know a lot of the produce just didn't look that fresh. That was really cute. I thought a little girl would like that for three ninety nine. That was really cute. The other difficulty I had was when I would pick up products and go to the register, you can't really see what it's ringing up. So every time she rung up thing, it's like, well, how much was that? How much was that? Because, you know, uh, I'm not going to pay, you know, one day 99 cents for something and the next day $5. No, I believe that was 70 pieces in there. I also want to say that uh, I believe I just did a Dollar Tree video and it looks like the Dollar Tree is looking more and more like this to where interspersed, they will have some stuff for a dollar and a quarter. And then all of a sudden things are like $3, $5. So uh, that's what this 99 cent only store turned into. And yeah, the Seal Beach video of the Dollar Tree, uh, this store, it looks similar to that store. I can't believe I was getting chips here less than two years ago for 99 cents a bag. And uh, look at those prices. So I guess if you're like me, just hold your breath, hold on. Oh my gosh, I love those stickers for 99 cents, but I didn't pick up any. I have a ton of stickers. But like I was saying, just hold your breath. What is Dollar Tree merging into? I mean, yeah, I guess they started in 1982. So we got 20 years of solid pricing over at the Dollar Tree. That was a pretty good price for a gardening equipment. So a lot of the bread is $1.99. And then, you know, I looked over and then I found some rolls for what? $4.99, $4.49. So, eh, you know what? Pick what you want. $1.99, let's see, $4.49. That bread looked really good, but it was $4.49. Now that's a good price for strawberries. I like that one. Uh, that didn't look too freshy fresh. All right, so IHOP pancakes, what was that? Like $7.99, I really can't see it. That's expensive, uh, $1.99. That is an amazing price, but we're gonna go around the store and I wanted to show you what else they have. Like the soda bottles, okay, they're $1.75 over at my Dollar Tree. So uh, I think here they're $1.49, a very good price. But that Gatorade is way off base. So like I said, sometimes I'll be at Dollar Tree buying something, sometimes over here at the 99 cent only store. Did I mention they sell liquor? Now, I don't know. I don't drink beer. I don't know if that's a good price, $14.99 for 12 of them. Uh, yeah. But uh, 99 cents, eh, seltzer water. I get that cheaper over at Walmart. Again, $1.49 for a six pack of water, which a year ago it was 99 cents. So I, when I need it, I get it over at the dollar and a quarter tray. Oh, and here's the candy section. They put up a sign finally. So all the candy is what? $1.29 unless it's priced differently. All right, I promise you we're almost done. I've never seen Dunkin' Jelly Beans, but I thought they would be uh, pretty cool. In comparison to Dollar Tree, this is a pretty big store. It's probably about two times the size of the Dollar Tree, and that's why they have a lot of food and grocery items. Anyhow, 
If you ever come out to California, Arizona, Nevada, and Texas, be sure to look up a Dollar Tree. Yes, you know what? I love Dots pretzels, but $3.99 for a small bag, eh, that may not be in my budget. What is a crack at? I don't know. But uh, Cheez-Its, I love Cheez-Its. Who doesn't love Cheez-Its? 99 cents a can for Sapporo beer. Okay. Oh, they also have wine. So I don't know uh, if these are good prices. You guys can let me know. Put it in the comments below. And mixers. Who doesn't need a good mixer? Probably half my viewers. I guess that's $2.99 for a big bottle of uh, Barefoot Bubbly. Not so bad. And then we have uh, Martha Stewart, wine right there, and Snoop Dogg. Anyhow, please like, share, and thumbs up. I will see you down the road. Bye.